Generic greetings, fellow citizens of the internet. This is, of course, Richard, and today I bring you another episode of FOV. And today I think I might have something really exciting to share with you guys. Uh, I was just coming back from Binary over there. Uh, you can see the cartographer's cradle. I was just coming this way. Back to my backstage base. Um, my sand, sand pit over there. And I happened to come this way and look around the corner. And I think I saw something really exciting. Oh my god. <laughs> I cannot believe it. I really... I, I honestly cannot believe this. The, this, this, um, some of you might not recognize this. This, let me check. Uh, yes! <laughs> oh my god, I cannot believe it. Um, this, this is a Wild Vetches. I have found a Wild Vetches in my world. Oh man, this is this is astonishing. This is just amazing. I I, I can't believe this. These guys spawn so rarely. Like I I've I've never even seen a vetches except in you know videos. Uh, <laughs> well that that is that is just absolutely mind blowing. And I I. I, I know I know he gives some pretty decent drops, but there is no way I'm killing this guy. He's uh, a house for him. Uh, plans are already beginning to form in my mind. Oh, this is gonna be incredible. I uh, I I just cannot wait. Um, first, I'm gonna need to let's see. I'm gonna need to get a rail line set up somehow uh, to get him where I want to go. What the heck is going on over here? Just notice this. There is. There's something going on over here. Just a cave, I guess. Huh, that's neat. More floaty sand. That is always appreciated. Alright, um. Anyway, like I was saying, yes, I would probably. I, I want to get him set up in my village. Uh, in the, um, Crown Gerardus if I can. That would be. <laughs> that would just crown things up beautifully. Um, I'll give him his own little house, fit him up with all the appropriate Vetch's equipment so that he can do his thing. Oh, that's, that's just, that's, that's, that's just great. Can't believe I found a wild Vetch's. Ow. That was a cactus. Alright, so I'm heading back to my backstage sand pit base here, uh, where I have made some minor improvements. I've done a bit of exploring off camera and so forth and so on. Nothing too extremely crazy. I explored a jungle, grabbed some resources, found some pumpkins, that kind of thing. Um, and I also did go mining and got a bunch of wonderful and amazing things. A bunch of diamonds, which I'm very happy about. Uh, some more obsidian than I had, uh, which I'm going to be definitely using shortly to go to the nether. Because uh, I really want to finally check that out. I'm going to go ahead and make, while I'm thinking of it, flint. Come on, give it to me. Flint and steel. Um, because I'm, I just know that I tend to, well, I mean, I guess I should get into the middle of the in the first place. Anyway, uh, regardless, I have a cocoa bean farm here now. It's just sort of rudimentary, basic boring. Uh, I installed a basic wheat farm here, uh, reeds all around here, your traditional, um, reed spam farm around the river. Uh, that's been there for a while, but, uh, I may as well mention it, because I don't think I did before. Uh, all of this has sort of been just sort of evolving over time as I read various different things. I started growing some jungle trees for saplings, and have actually gotten a net loss of saplings over the time that I've been working on it. Uh, so that's kind of frustrating, but... Hopefully those cows and sheep are not too annoying. Uh, I think they are. I've expanded the uh, furnace smelting capacity and so forth, and made myself an anvil. Uh, then, let's see, I'm actually going to, because through caving and all the other nonsense that I've been going through, I actually am back up to level 36. Uh, what am I doing? I need to grab some more diamonds, and I'm actually going to go ahead and make another diamond pick, enchant this, cross my fingers, because if, if I get the right thing, I'll be very, very happy indeed, and I 
will basically be able to continue with the project that I want to do. If it's not what I want, then I'm basically going to have to do a whole bunch of work. I'm probably actually going to go back to the binary base and um, make a skelly spawner over there, or make a, um, a draw trap sort of thing and uh, get some experience going on over there. Uh, and then just power through until I get the level 30 enchantment that I do want. Uh, but let's see. Um, I can't read universal yeah. alphabet. So this is, of course, as usual, the complete surprise. So let's see. Let's see. Is it going to be? I love how it, every single Minecraft player I seem to watch seems to do this when they're doing their enchanting. It's like, ooh, ooh, I'll, I'll just tease around it. Ooh, and then I just grab it. Okay, so it's efficiency f for unbreaking three. That's the same thing as I had before. So, all right, I'll be. B eh, no, I'm not gonna bother to do it right now. I will go to the Nether now, and that's what I'll go. That'll. That's that's what I'll. That's what I'll go do, and that will be cool. So now I actually have a duplicate pick. I can actually drop this one off and feel a little bit better about using this one. I'm really cautious when it comes to using things, and I'll tend to just keep stuff places and never actually use it, so it's probably good for me to get into the habit of using, like, a efficiency diamond pick like this. Um, don't think, not thinking of anything else that I'm gonna need, I've got a inventory packed full of random garbage, but yeah, that's okay. Uh, drop off this bow that I don't need. Some of these, no, uh, I'm in that chest. Uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'll just make do. Uh, if I have to, I'll just make a chest and then, uh, chest some stuff. That's another thing. I never seem to like to let anything despawn, even if it's just like a single stick or a block of dirt or cobblestone or something random. I never like watching things despawn or knowing that they will be despawning on my watch. It just, I, I can't let it happen knowingly. Because uh, it, it's just something about the principle of the thing. Alright, so, uh, sun's going down. Uh, that might be a problem. Go ahead and light this. Yes, nether portal. There we go. Um, again, this is sort of my backstage base and whatever, and I'm not really paying too much attention to aesthetics or anything, or otherwise I would be um, making this a lot prettier and actually, or actually focusing on aesthetics to begin with in the first place. I'm going to go ahead and sleep for now, just because it's nicer to have it daytime in general. And actually, if I warped back in here and it was nighttime, it would probably kind of suck. But I could probably get to the bed quickly. Alright, another time. Another time. See where it drops me. See where it drops me. Downloading the terrain. I don't know where it's downloading from, but that's actually an interesting question there. Where is it downloading from? Downloading okay. Basic boring so far. Basic rudimentary boring. That's fine. That's just fine by me. Nothing is actively trying to kill me, so that's also a good sign as well. The lag is not fun, though. That is not good. It's just a lot of chunks generating, and that's what I want to chalk it up to. Uh, so... Pretty cool formations. Basic nether, though. It's not really anything interesting. So, what am I going to do? What am I going to do with this? Do I have blocks? I've got some blocks. I can work with blocks. Maybe, what am I going to do with this? Uh, you know what, maybe the first step I'm going to take might be just pillar up into the ceiling and hide there, because that's the sort of guy I am, that's the sort of thing that I tend to do, so actually I'll go ahead and harvest some netherite to use rather than using up all my ugly cobblestone that I'm probably just going to put to better use smelting into smooth stone later. stone in general, and would mu I would much prefer to use stone bricks or slabs for everything that I do, of course, because slabs are amazing, and anyone worth his salt would know that and recognize that cobblestone is not a building material worth scowling at. So, I guess... 
45 should get me up to the next layer. So forth and so on. I'm actually going to go ahead and... Now that I think about it, how do you put portals out? Can you just throw a block in? No. I can't use water. I guess I'm going to have to break it. Hoping that I do not actually have to go back now. And now that I think about it, I really hope that a gas does not spawn and knock me off of this pillar. That could also end very badly. But at this point, I'll just pillar up, then make a new portal up high, way up in the roof, where it'll be nicer to dig around and so forth and so on. Uh, might be good to grab some glowstone while I'm here as well. I'm going to need glowstone and that kind of all over the place. Uh, let's see. Out of curiosity, where am I at? Now that I think about it, I don't actually know where the roof of the nether is. I'm, I think I did at one point, but now that I think about it, I can't remember what the Y coordinate is. Uh, so I guess I'll just keep digging until I hit bedrock and then set up shop. And, oh, there it is. Excellent. How delightfully convenient. Okay, so I will quickly hollow out a section here. Uh, about yay big. Uh, I don't know where the portal was, but it should be, you know, if I have it anywhere in the general vicinity, it should still work. And, do, do, do. Do 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 do. Skimp on the two blocks in the corners there, just for now at least. And then. Do 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 do. That's right, right? Yes, okay, good. And then light it up. This should be entirely safe now. And come back. Yeah, lovely, wonderful nether exploration has been accomplished. At least on the rudimentary scale. Scope out some glowstone, soul sand stuff. I'll be able to collect that off camera as I need it. And unless anything particularly interesting happens, I will probably skip all of that and keep it off camera. Uh, what was I going to do next? Uh, well, I do have another project that I really want to do very quickly, um, which is basic horse stable technology. Um, but I'm do I have the stuff that I'd need to do that? Actually, I probably do. Let me just grab a bit of this, and a bit of this, and what else might I need? That's close to it. Grab some of this stone that I've smelted up. Grab a bunch of it. It's really nice. Really nice. Uh, make up some smooth stone bricks, and mayhaps some... How does that even... Whatever, okay. Um, grab some slabs. And... Oh, I also will need a bunch of these. Should be sufficient. Then a bunch of... Now, hmm. Here's a good question. How do you make a tripwire hook? I just realized that I don't actually know. Is it... I mean, it's got to be iron... Some combination like stick with iron with wood with something maybe i honestly don't know so i will actually go look that up when i need to um i'll finish getting my resources in order how about that and then i will come back and get started with that project in the meantime actually you know what i may as well just get my resources in order and do some skelly grinding over there you know get that set up show that do some skelly grinding, then come back and do another level 30, and build some horse stable technology, and then I'll probably... Oh, we'll see what I'll do. So, uh, that's what I'll do, and I'll be right back with all that kind of stuff going in just a sec. That is so cool. I still can't get over it. That's just, that's just so cool. <laughs> I didn't know that he spawned with his own... Sorry, and sign out shelter too. It's a nice touch. 
Alrighty, starting recording again just in case I die in some stupid way again. I'm planning on starting taking out the torches now. This one out, then lock it up. Because, yep, sure enough, they just started spawning. Come out for the pattern. I'm not sure if they'll shoot this. They probably actually will, so this might be a very bad thing to do. Uh, I should say. But actually, I, I know that one spawned here. Uh, oh, he's tracking me. E. That's that's very dangerous. I'm <laughs> having second thoughts about this design. Uh, so let's see. If it gets to be too bad, we'll just change it. Seriously, what was your color? So, uh, I think that torch is there. Yeah, Blocks that. Take out the rest of the torches. One of them is. Just oh, he must have actually fallen down the drop rope. It's right there, right? It's right there, maybe? I don't know where the torch is. Can't find it. Did I get it? I think I got it. If I didn't, I'll get it in a sec. Do do. Just one more then. Is that it? No. That was it. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're dropping, for sure. It's certainly dropping. Uh, let me go over there and see what exactly is happening. Definitely getting shot at, which is not ideal. And they are dying. It's interesting. Well, they're not shooting at me from there. If I'm standing here, it looks like they're not shooting at me. I'll probably get a sporadic arrow shot. That's probably going to be the biggest problem. But I can fix that by just walling off certain bits of this and so forth, so I have a safe spot. Okay, okay. So what happens if I raise this guy? So off. Yes! Oh, ow, 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 okay, that's a problem. That, that's a, that's a very big problem. Uh, okay. Allow me to, well, first eat, recover some of my, no, I want my carrots. Give me my, what are you doing, inventory? Give me my carrots so I can regen some. And they are going to be building up. This is going to be. The longer I wait, the more of a challenge this is going to be. Might just need to wait for them to respawn, actually. But. or despawn. Okay. So I'm just going to run in there, place some slabs, and get it closed off so that they can't hurt me. Do. Okay. That went about as well as could be expected. That should be more or less. Should actually be able to read that. Yes, indeed. Hooray! Huzzah! Brilliant and marvelous. So far, so good. All right. And are these one shot kills? They are. Okay. Now. Don't do that. Okay. So this clearly needs some work. That, that is a given. Uh, we can establish that and uh, where the legs. Mmm, that's a problem. That is going to bug me. Okay, and then we go ahead and. There is no good way to get to those bones. <sighs> Fine. Alright, I'm just gonna block that off just for now. Um, so that it's sort of like this. I'll be, I'll be redesigning everything here, I think. It will all just sort of get redesigned. But for now, this can be good. Um, lack of Oh, I think they got fighting in the- one of them tried to shoot me, 
ended up shooting another skeleton in the closet. Wait, in, in the thing there. Huh. Alright, so this seems to be in at least working enough order that I can use the grind for that. And XP. So that is very good, more or less what I was shooting for. Ah, no, 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 that's not what I'm going to do. Yeah, can you do that? That right there. Alright, this is, this is cool. I like it. I like it. It's not bad. It's pretty derpy and it'll need a lot of work. Oh! Spider Man. Very nice to have you Goodbye. Uh, definitely need a lot of work. Um, and there's a lot that I can do with it in the future. But for now, it'll be great. And so I'm going to go ahead and get up to level 30. sort of stuff, uh, because I, uh, really want to get to using horses to go back and forth with, um, the, you know, between all these different little bases that I have. They're just far enough away that walking every single time gets really old really fast. Uh, so, without further ado, I guess I will cut to having all the resources and being all ready to get started with building the first one of them things. Oh yeah, I was gonna enchant the thing. Yes! Oh, I am so very incredibly happy. All I had to do, apparently, was voice my design. Hooray! Alright, so next episode will probably be very interesting indeed. Uh, I'll let me get started on certain aspects of camera, and then go from there. But anyway, uh, now that I have piqued your interest and yanked the interesting content away from under your nose, I will be back shortly with stable technology, as I have mentioned. Oh, the first pistons of this world. I have waited this I have awaited this moment for very long and I I will savor it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Haha, <laughs> yes, now I have pistons. Yes, yes indeed. And now they are sticky. Hooray! Hooray for pistons, which are also sticky very useful as you shall see momentarily uh, what am I doing I need this I need that I need what else do I need I need oh I need fences now where do I want to do this I guess I will put this speed bricks. there's the speed bricks okay I can deal with speed bricks I will throw my pick on the ground. Huzzah! 
Tavati. Hooray! Mm -hmm. Victories. All right, so start off with block like this, block like that. Doop a doo. Doop. Doop a doo. Doop a doo. Not actually. Bit more like this, then that, then this, then a bit of that, and a little bit of this, and that, and maybe some of this, and some of that, and then, of course, importantly, that and that, and maybe just touch of this, round there, maybe some of this sort of action going on, and then just as a final touch, boom. And let's see if it actually works. It does not. This is because, as I have found out in testing in creative and so forth, th this is a really dodgy design. It is an incredibly dodgy design that should theoretically always work, but because something about Minecraft is ridiculously derpy, is completely unpredictable. The thing is, what I've done here is I've used a basic monostable circuit to hook directly into another piston, which should work as, you know, a T flip flop sort of pop the block out, pop it back in again sort of deal, uh, because the tripwire powers the redstone on top there. And that pops the block up. And for just one tick, it actually pushes it, it actually pushes the current through to this piston. But as soon as that solid block moves, the current can't get through anymore. So this piston here gets only one tick of signal. And that means that it pops the block out or pulls the block in, depending on which state it's in. Um, but it doesn't always work. And I don't know why. And... At first I thought it was a directional thing, but I've since tested it out and it doesn't seem to follow any kind of rules that I can figure out. It isn't directional, it doesn't seem to be based on chunk boundaries or any kind of other... I really want to know what mechanics are going on here, but it seems to be just completely unreliable from everything that I've seen. So, I will go ahead and rebuild this several times and figure out what variation is going to work. All right, rotated 90 degrees, and it works. If you'll notice, block is up, then uh, toggle it, and block is down. And this will work because of the precise size of a horse's hitbox. Uh, a horse is two blocks tall, uh, so it will be stopped by this block being here and it is precisely the right size to fit between iron block, uh, an iron bar half block sort of area and a full block on the other side or two fence posts. Um, and I of course can walk right through here but the horse is bigger so it will be trapped right there. Uh, and when I get in using the etho technique uh, I will bump my head against the wire because I will be up in the air relative to the ground. I will, I will be on the horse, and so my hitbox will actually pop right through here, and it will toggle it, opening it up. Or if I'm just coming back from a long adventure and it's open, it will close. Uh, well, I will come in from a long adventure and pop off the horse and it will close. Whatever. You get the general idea, and that is the bare bones design. And as for functionality, it seems to be down to basically just twiddle with it until it, oops, don't do that. Um, twiddle with it until, you know, orientation and even just moving it forward or back by like one or two blocks can sometimes make all the difference. It's really strange. But it does work when it does work, and it's the most compact and efficient way I've found to do the job. So, I will tolerate its inadequacies. Little I will tolerate all of its inadequacies, and I will build them around my world. Get some horse transportation and run.
probably round this episode off with just one more clip, maybe, of... I'll set one of those up um, over in the Crown of Gerardus, and I will demonstrate how it is supposed to work with a horse. So I will be right back with you for that demonstration. So I've been keeping my horse in this temporary, again, Etho-based structure. Uh, but I can do away with that now, as I've got myself a much better system. So the way you ride into it is just straight in, and then it's all set. You ride in there, and the horse is secure. It won't be able to get out. There is no way that it can leave, because its hitbox is just too big. And then as soon as I want to leave again, I can just get right on it, and... In that case, um, it would appear that sometimes with this particular design, uh, it is possible for the horse to move, like I, I actually shifted it a bit, and so it's at the very edge of where it can be, which means that when I get on it, I'm not actually in the tripwire, so I'm not tripping it. But if I walk forward by just, you know, no hair, it actually does trip the tripwire, and I'll find out just fine. So that's what's going on there, and... Aside from that, which is really minor, I can say that this works very well indeed. Um, and obviously it's really easy to, you know, reset or whatever if you get it wrong or whatever. You can always just sort of walk around the computer and the horse doesn't care usually. Or horses don't care generally, but they especially don't care when it comes to this. And overall this should work very well for me and should allow me to do what I want to do. Oh, incidentally, I also worked on this over here uh, just a bit. Uh, I'm thinking I might actually have an entrance to this city over here, um, but this is what I'm sort of thinking of doing for all of the hills around here. The wall is just going to stretch flat and the city will probably follow the curvature of the land, but the outside of the city is going to be cut down to around this level here. So, that's sort of what I'm planning there. Ow, ow, don't do the horse. Cooperate with me. Alright, so that's, that's the general idea behind that, and that's the general idea behind this, and that just toggled twice it did. Okay. So, do that. Um, so yeah. I think that's more or less all that I had as crucial items. And next episode, I will get started on another project, which should open up a gigantic can of worms, which will be immense fun to work with. So, and hopefully I'll be able to get more of the wall done, because it's, it's looking embarrassingly unfinished as well. Oh, and now that I've got access to the nether, I can get the glowstone to actually put in the proper lamps and so forth. So hopefully I'll have all that sorted, or at least I'll be able to get going on that. Um... And I'll also have access to more regular enchantments, which will be wonderful, so forth and so on. I've been talking for quite some time now, and I'm fairly certain I've gone way, way longer than I meant to with this episode. So, thank you for bearing with me this far. And, yeah. With that, I will conclude this episode and respectfully bid you farewell for now.